Happy Halloween YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this rocking chair prop. This is really a pretty simple prop to make. Shouldn't take you more than an hour or two if you've got all the right parts. And I'm going to show you where I ordered mine from. But it's really just a matter of attaching the parts to a board, uh, using some sort of weight to hold it down. This is just my prototype right here. And then finding a way to attach it to your chair. And I used a piece of aluminum bar that's a, a 16 inch piece of aluminum bar that attaches the windshield wiper motor to the bottom of the chair. So I'm going to show you all the parts I got. There'll be links in the description to where you can order the parts from. And uh, this is, like I said, a pretty easy project. This is the kit that I'm going to be using for this build. I ordered it from a company called Monster Guts, and this is what they call their Monster Prop Power Pack. And uh, the at the time I bought this, uh, it was $70.95 for all the parts that you see here. Uh, which is a really good deal considering they've already researched uh, and made sure that all of this stuff works together and is compatible. And so you might be able to source this stuff a few dollars cheaper if you buy it individually, but then you're going to have to figure out the wiring and if it's compatible. They already provide the wiring diagrams and guarantee that these parts will work together. So what it comes with is a two-speed windshield wiper motor that has two arms. One is a ball arm on the end and the other one just has a hole in it so that you can use just a bolt on your push arm. It has a speed controller, a 12 volt speed controller, so that you can fine tune the rocking motion or whatever motion of the prop that you're building. Uh, a wiring harness that plugs directly into uh, the power supply and then a 12 volt power supply that is guaranteed to work with the speed controller and with the, the uh, windshield wiper motor. So I highly recommend buying a kit if, if you're going to do this build. It makes it a whole lot easier. Again, they provide all the wiring diagrams, which can be kind of the more confusing portion of this. And they have some good resources on their website for building it. In addition to the parts from Monster Guts, uh, you're going to need just a little bit of hardware for this project. I got all of this stuff at Lowe's. Tried to use stuff that's commonly available. Lowe's or Home Depot or really any uh, home improvement store. Uh, I've just got a piece of uh, aluminum bar that I'm going to use for my push-pull on the to attach to the rocker and to attach to the motor. This is a uh, strong tie piece of strapping material that you can buy, costs like a dollar and something, and uh, I'm going to bend it into a, a 90 degree so that I can attach my motor to it, and that's going to be my motor mount. You can buy mounts for these motors online, but they're like 10 bucks. This costs less than two, and uh, I think it's going to work fine. And then just some quarter inch machine screws and nuts, and our bolts and nuts, some lock nuts, a little L bracket to attach to the chair, and some washers. Other than that, you're going to need a drill, uh, just basic hand tools. Okay, I, I bent that bracket to 90 degrees and then I drilled some holes in it and mounted my motor to it. Put the arm on the motor and I've got it screwed on here with a lock nut. And then I just took a piece of half inch plywood and this is about approximately 16 inches long and about five inches wide, but the, the dimensions really aren't important. And I screwed it down to it and then I attached the speed controller. I just screwed it down to the wood right behind it. Um, the wires are already pre-stripped. You just the only electrical you have to do is screw them into the speed controller right there. And the only thing you have to be careful of is the polarity. You don't want to get the polarity backwards because it will burn up the speed controller. But that's really it. Uh, I took the extra wires, put a zip tie on it, and uh, this is the power supply that comes with the kit. So once I plug it into power, then I can control the speed of the the motor with the speed controller and I can slow it down all the way to a stop and all the way up to as fast as it will go on that setting. This is plugged into the low side of the motor. Uh, the motor has a low and a high and uh, I could speed it up some more if I plugged it into the high side. So now all I've got to do is connect an arm to this all the way up to the bottom of the chair and uh, then it will pull it back and forth and make the chair rock. 
and I can set a little bit of weight on the back of here if I need to to keep it from sliding as it pulls the chair. Here's an up close shot at the linkage I used. I just put the bolt through the linkage, put a lock nut on it, a washer, my bar, my push bar, another washer and another lock nut. The lock nuts are important because this is constantly rotating so that it doesn't come loose. Uh, it's the exact same up at the top where the bracket is right there and that's just a that's just an l-shaped bracket it's attached to the bottom of the chair so that's all there is to it this is a prop that really anybody can build and uh, it, it definitely stands out it's probably one of the better and easier props that you can build for your halloween decorations if this video helps you please hit that like button subscribe and you guys have a happy Halloween.